Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video I'm going to go over how to get subwallet set up for subspace. I don't know why, but I kind of struggled with this. I don't think the wallet is as user-friendly as I would like for a wallet, but I wanted to give a tutorial because you do need a TSSC wallet address in order to earn rewards in subspace when you're farming. So I'm going to be setting up this for Chrome. It's going to be an extension just similar to MetaMask. And if you want to go to this site, it's just subwallet.app. And then you'll click download and it'll bring you to this downloads page. I'm going to do Chrome and it's just going to bring me to the Chrome web store. I'll click add to Chrome. It's going to just tell me what this can access. I'm going to, and then I'll click add extension. You can't see that because it's like a pop-up and doesn't always show. But here we are. Once it's installed, you're going to see it pop up. We're going to create a new account. Just like anything, put in a password, make sure it's a unique, secure one. Click continue. And you can, at this point, download this. So if you click this copy and save to clipboard, what's interesting is it actually does a download. It downloads a file called mnemonicc.txt. It doesn't really tell you that it's doing that, but it is. So it's not a bad idea to have like a thumb drive that you can uh, copy that over to and disconnect it from your computer and keep it separately and then only use it if you ever need to recover your account. But you can also hover over and actually, um, well, it probably does copy it to clipboard as well, but it, it also downloads the file. And then you could paste this somewhere, like if you have a password manager that you trust, you can uh, paste that in there. And once you've saved it, and you're definitely going to want to save this in case you need to recover your account at some point or import it somewhere else, just click I have kept it somewhere safe. And now you're going to be brought into the actual wallet. So let's click go to home. And this is a little confusing at first because you have DOT, you have uh, BNB, you have all of these different cryptos, and none of them are the ones that we need. So what I like to do is click this manage tokens and I just get rid of all of them. Actually, you don't even need to click Manage Tokens. What you can do is uh, click this filter up here, and we're just going to remove all of these networks that we don't want, which is basically all of them. So I just scroll down. Uh, I think there's one more. Yeah, there it is. OK, so now if we exit out of here, we basically have no tokens. But what we want to do is add the subspace token. So we're going to go back to this menu and we're just going to search for subspace. And we can see there's three of them here. You don't need 2A or 3F or any of the other test nets if you're in the future and there's more test nets here. You always want the latest one, so 3G. The next one's going to be 3H. So we're just going to include 3G here and then click the X. And now we have TSSC. Now you need your account address, your wallet address. And initially I was confused because if I go up here, I can see, oh, I have, you know, an account address. I have this EVM account. I can copy this and I have my address, but these are not the addresses you need. Uh, these are just like your overall accounts. What you need to do is click the actual TSSC. And then inside here, there's a copy button to get the address for TSSC. Uh, actually, you got to click it one more time. No, you don't have to click it one more time. What's going on here? Oh, okay. This is, see, even I've done this a million times. I'm, I'm still confused at this, like, user experience. Um, I guess if I select this account up here. Okay, so yeah, this is, it's weird. If you don't, if, you, if you're on all accounts, then when you go to copy something, you actually have to select your account, or you can actually go into an account, and then when you click copy, Oh, you, then you got to go into T. See, this is such a weird user experience. Like, why do I? I'm not going to get into it for the install video, or for the for the tutorial on how to get it installed. Um, I personally find this to be a horrific user experience. But anyways, there's two things here. If you're in all accounts, then you're going to want to still click into this and click copy. But then you just need to select the account, and then you'll see down here your address should start with S T if you're getting the correct one. But if you're actually inside an account, then when you click copy, or when you go into it and then click copy, 
it should show up right away. So there's two ways basically that it can be displayed. Both ways are confusing, but that is how you get your reward address. And uh, you'll just need that when you start farming, you'll put in that reward address and you'll start seeing the balance. Now I don't really know uh, and you can see your balance here. I, I try to figure out how to get these asterisks to show the actual balance without going in. There's got to be a settings or something somewhere uh, where it doesn't hide it. But again, it, nothing is really intuitive for this, but it's the best option right now, in my opinion. I'd also like to see like transactions and I don't really see transactions anywhere when I'm in here. There, oh, I guess maybe under history, I'll have to, but then polka dot it's coming up i'm gonna have to mess around with it i'll probably do like a full intro to sub wallet video uh just to go over everything so i'm not fumbling around on here but if you're just looking to get your reward address that is how you do it <laughs> i will see you in the next video